Hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, Nick's Fingerboards, and I have a review to do for you guys. Uh, I supposedly uploaded this review a couple weeks ago, but turns out it didn't end up working, which is part of the reason I hadn't uh, posted a video in a while. Uh, but it didn't end up uploading, so I had no clue. And the guy emailed me and said, you know, dude, did you do the review yet? And I'm like, yeah, it's up on my channel, isn't it? And he's like, I don't know, I can't find it. So I checked, and uh, apparently the upload failed for some reason. Um, and my internet went down or something. Uh, but the point is, I need to review this deck, and I've been, I waited a long time to do it, but I'm uh, ex very excited to review it for you guys. Uh, this is Alex C. Dex. He doesn't have a company name yet, as far as, I'm, as, far as I know. Uh, I think he's thinking of a couple different names, but uh, if you want to order one, I'll I'll be happy to uh, connect you with him. Just send me a PM, leave a comment. I'm sure he's going to read them. Uh, and then, uh, as far as the deck goes, I believe the price is undetermined yet, but usually, uh, usually the deck like this would go for about twenty, twenty-five dollars. Uh, this deck is very, very uh, strong. As you can see, I can barely bend it, which is w one thing that I actually like about decks. Uh, I'm reluctant to get a new, to get rid of my Berlin wood until I can get a new one because uh, it's kind of getting soggy. It's been, it's a year and a half old, but I'd like to get a new one at Rendezvous Nine. I think it's going to be eight, maybe. Not sure what number we're on, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, yeah, let's see, seven. I met Carly at eight. Was the one I went last year alone. So yeah, this must be nine. Uh, maybe I don't know. Uh, so that's basically uh the sh the pop of the deck is as you can see I'm pushing down barely bend it. Um, I may be weak, but I can barely bend it. <laughs> uh, as far as the shape goes, I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Perfect ends. Even even uh. You know, as far as I'm concerned, they're perfect ends, and, you know, my grandfather taught me to be very, very picky, and they're very, it's a very nicely made board. Straight edges, and the concave is perfect. If these kicks were just a little bit lower, this would probably be my favorite board, but that's probably because it's just a Berlin wood if the kicks are a little bit lower. Uh, I like the higher kicks, though. I think it'll be easier for me to try and nollie. Because uh, I actually don't know how to nollie and stuff, so I'm hoping to learn that at Rendezvous. So I'm going to set this board up again and uh, bring it to Rendezvous 9 and see if anybody can teach me. Because I, I suck at fingerboarding. And I think I should kind of learn how to fingerboard better. Uh, lacquer. Lacquer is perfect. It's not too glossy, so it looks like a freaking, uh, you know, photograph. It's nice. It keeps the scratches away. I, can, I can't scratch it. And the kinkman holes are perfect. He didn't uh, mess up the drilling at all. And countersinks come with it. Uh, the dips are really something... I don't know. I've never seen dips like this before. They're, uh, you know, above average uh, dips as far as, you know, like downness or dippiness or something. Like, most boards don't have this much dips, but, uh, you know, it's not the most hardcore deck I've ever seen. Uh, and... It, I don't know, it's just really fun to ride. I can't really explain that. I wish I hadn't taken the tape off, uh, because I needed tape, but I also need to buy some tape from, uh, probably Mike. Probably buy some tape. Unless any of you guys have any tape you guys want to buy or sell me, that'd be great. Uh, but anyway, uh, stay tuned to this channel. I promise I will post more and more. And thank you for 1,300 subscribers, and, uh, yeah, guys, peace.